Okay, welcome to Rusty's Rustic Pantry. It's been a long while since we've done anything new. Apologies for that. Um, been rather busy over the past few months, one thing and another. But today um, we're going to have a look at uh, a family favourite, a really good traditional British, um, well you could call it an institution, it's the traditional British pork pie. Um, great with beers, ciders, wines, you know, ploughman's lunch. Got all the ingredients laid out here before you right now so what i'm going to do give me a couple of minutes i'll clear these away we'll get set up and we'll start uh make, putting our, our raised pork pie together okay first of all we're going to look at the filling for the pie because i want to mix this together and put it in the fridge for a bit to let all the flavors sort of uh marry up together and infuse into the pork so what i've got here there's about 750 grams of minced pork. Um, this is 20% fat, um, which I got from a local supermarket. It was on offer, just saves so messing around, um, putting it through my mince, to be honest, so I'm being lazy. To that, I'm going to add three rashers of chopped bacon, smoked bacon. That can all go in there. Just scrape that in. Going to be washed. Now to this I'm going to add my seasons. First of all, sage, pork loves sage. And I'm going to put in a good heat teaspoon of sage. Actually perhaps a bit more, a teaspoon and a half maybe. Then some thyme. Again, good heat teaspoon of thyme. In that goes. A little bit of ground black pepper. Probably about a half a teaspoon of that. And ground mace. Mace being the uh, out the husks of cinnamon, I think, or nutmeg, is it? One of the nutmeg. Probably about three quarters of a heat teaspoon there, and in that goes. Now, this is the one you've got to be really careful with. What I'm going to add to this, I'll just let you see this. It's a pimenton. I don't know if you can make that out of there, but it's quite hot. Uh, it's basically like a, a really hot smoked paprika. And all I'm going to do is put in about quarter of a teaspoon. Okay. So the hands with the wash. Okay, and the only way to mix this really now is to get in there by hand, scrunch everything together and give it a really good mix so everything's combined nicely throughout the meat. And when it's all finely mixed, I'm just going to put a piece of cling film over the top of this and I'll be leaving it in the fridge while we move on and make the pastry for our pie, for our raised pork pie. So I shall leave this for a bit and get back to you in a couple of minutes. Okay, so next step in our uh, pork pie project is the pastry. Um, this is going to be a hot water pastry, so it's quite short. Um, you know, the rem to get that nice crispy golden pastry you see in all the pork pies you buy in the supermarkets and that sort of thing. So to start off with, first of all, on the hob, I have a saucepan there um, on the on the well coming to the boil uh, with two hundred and fifty millilitres of water. Into that, I'm going to add about 200 grams of lard. These aren't exact sciences, that's where the uh, lard is usually marked in portions on the back of the packet, up to 250 grams. So into that water, I'm now going to add about 200 grams of lard. 
and that needs to melt down into the water. You don't want it to boil too hard. Also, I have in the bowl 575 grams of plain flour. Now with that, I'm just going to make a little hole in the middle. Into that, I'm going to crack one egg. Like so. And just a little pinch of salt. still waiting for the lard to melt into the water so we'll give that a couple of minutes and I'll show you what we do next okay so our lard is now nicely melted into the water I need to combine that now with uh, the flour and the egg now before going further just one reminder uh, what you didn't see and uh, which I forgot was to add some salt to um, the pie filling to the pork mixture so before that went into the fridge it was then mixed with about a level teaspoon of salt through the mixture so very important don't forget to add the salt to the pork so with this now we've got our flour and our egg we've got our lard and our water some people like to use a lard half lard half butter some people don't like to use the eggs um, but this is just the way I'm making it today so take this and be careful it's hot pour into your flour mixture and start gradually combining everything together nice and easy in the bowl now bear in mind that this is going to be warm quite warm so just add it in little by little and start bringing it all together there we go and start combining it all properly with a wooden spoon to get a nice sort of doughy consistency put the rest of that in there, there okay what i'll do is i'll carry on mixing this up um, we'll get to a point where you'll need to get your hands in there and sort of knead it like dough even though it's pastry to get it nice and silky smooth but uh, we'll come back to that in a minute once this is done, it then needs to go into the fridge, covered with a bit of cling film, and we'll need to cool for about an hour, just to chill down. So we'll come back to that in an hour's time. Okay, so an hour's gone by. Cleaned down from the previous stages of making our raised pork pie. Um, I've also gone and got changed, because like a fool, I've decided the video on probably was the hottest day of 2018. Uh, so I've changed my clothes and had a shower as well. Um, we're now going to move on to um, building and filling our pie. So, I've got here a cake tin, um, which we're going to use to build our pie in with a fake bottom. Um, what I'm going to do is, first of all, is literally grease all the surface of the interior of the, the uh, tin. Now, this butter I'm just using here and it should help give the pastry a lovely golden finish um, when it's cooked and of course it's got the uh, finished product sticking to the sides of the cake tin okay so we'll put that to one side now hands are white Side. So the pastry's been in the bowl in the fridge for an hour, our base into our tin. Now then, it's still slightly warm, it's still pliable as you can see, it's still mouldable. So what we want to do is take about a quarter of this off, because I can reserve that for our lid to the pie. Put that back in the bowl. 
for the rest of this, get our tin. And all I'm going to do is put this in the bottom, and you push it down and work it with your fingers, if you can see there, up the sides and try and make it as uniform as possible without making any holes in the pastry. It takes a little bit of time, it's a bit fiddly. You gradually work the pastry up the side of the tin using your fingers to so get nicely to the top of the tin. Make sure you squeeze it into the corners at the bottom. And get it to raise all the way up the side of the tin, hence the name raised pork pie. It takes a couple of minutes, but it's really worth spending the time getting this right up to the lip of your pie tin or cake tin, whichever it is you're going to use. I do really recommend something with a loose bottom like this though, that you can remove and help push the pie out when it's cooked. Get in there, nearly there now. And there we go. I think that'll do us just up to the top. It does tend to shrink back down a bit because the tin's probably a bit cold. Keep moving it around, working that pastry all the way up to the top. You need it to the top because obviously you've got to make a join there for your lid. There we go, just show you that now. Okay, then into that we add our pie filling straight out of the bowl. Try not to pack it in too tightly because we want this to, although go to the edges, remember at some point we're going to want to pour gel into this and once the pie filling is in obviously it'll help keep the shape of the pastry as well probably going to have a little bit extra here but i'm quite sure we'll find a use for that at some point maybe turn into some patties or something like that let's just see i think that will probably do us Okay, so that's our pie filled with our mixture. It smells wonderful. Put it to the side for a second. And it's a bit of a wash. Now then, this is the tricky part, put the lid on. I hate working with pastry, I really do, um, of any kind. So I've got our excess piece of pastry there. Rolling pin time. Roll it out as best you can into a lid that will fit your pie. You don't want it too thick. You may need to have to get hold of some pastry, uh, some flour put down if this sticks too much. Yeah, it's going to. So roll that back up. It's no problem because you always start again on this, it's not a problem at all. Again, a little bit of plain flour on the board with the pastry. And we'll try again, just rolling that out. Turn it over. Keep rolling that out. It's about well, half a centimetre thick, I suppose. You want a fairly Decent crust on the pie. That's half the joy of a really, really good pork pie. Is the, the pastry as much as the filling. Okay, so we get hold of that. If we can roll it over the rolling pin, all the better. Bring our pie back in and then gently roll it over the top and then with the rolling pin, nice and firm. Actually, what I need to do is just put a little bit of egg wash around the top of the joint. See, I'm forgetting things all the time. 
that's going to help make the seal. And then back over with our pie lid, like so. And with the rolling pin, just roll it over, and you'll get a nice smooth edge and finish to your pie. With the lid on, save the excess pastry, which we'll use in a later minute, and just give it a crimp just with your finger or a thumb into the corner, like so. And then, if you want to be really, really posh, the fork, just mark it at the edges, like that. And that should be a nice seal to the pastry that you rose up to the edge of your pie tin. Okay, quick wipe around the edge of your finger. Now, the important part here now is to make an air hole in the top to let out the steam, but also to give you somewhere to pour your gel in later on to so make it quite wide. So, you can see that there. Now what we can do with this extra bit of paste, if you want to be posh, throw a little bit of it out. And just make some decorations perhaps go on the top. Just some little diamonds, place the back and place on top of your pie. Nothing too fancy. So, okay, now then, that's ready for the oven. Now I've preheated the oven to gas mark four. I'm going to put this in initially for half an hour. Now, now I'll try to place the catch. Now what I don't want to do is have this pie dish resting on another tray because I want the heat to get into the bottom of the pie, the pie to cook the base. So you've got that nice crunchy pastry all the way around. So just stand in the top of the oven, gas them up for 30 minutes uh, to start with and we'll come back and have a look at it. Then the temperature will be reduced down um, to gas mark 3 for another hour to an hour and a half and more tilting towards the hour and a half. Okay, so we'll just put this in. There we go. And uh, we'll come back in half an hour, sorry, we'll come back in an hour and a half, two hours, and see how it's doing. Okay. Okay, so the last part of um, this uh, raised pork pie video. This has now been cooled. Basically, um, as we mentioned previously, cooked at gas mark four for 30 minutes, then taken down to gas mark three for 90 minutes, taken out, given a good glaze on top with uh, egg wash and put back in for 20 minutes. You can see that there. Now what we need to do just to finish off, it's been left to cool. What I have in this saucepan here is um, just about 250 mils of water and one of these vegetable stock pot gel things um, that you can get in every supermarket nowadays. That's going to be the basis of our gel that's going to go into the pie. Now, obviously, years ago, we used to use aspic, um, pretty flavorless, horrible stuff. But now we've got the options of making our own flavors and gels to put into our pies. Now, what I have in here is three or four, I think it's actually four sheets of gelatin, 
which will soak them for a few minutes. I'm going to take these out now. They're nice and soft. Even the squeeze gets some of the water out and put them straight into the stock. That's nice and warm. Just bring the temperature up a little bit and give it a good stir. Make sure all that gelatin is dissolved into the stock. It only takes a couple of minutes, if that. You can see there that's all dissolved into the gel. We pour that now into a jug. This is a tricky bit. Trying to pour this nice and slowly into the hole in the top of the pie. And you have to do it just in little bits at a time. If it comes to the top, let it bubble and drain through. A little bit more. And you need to do this until it stops disappearing out of sight from the hole in the top of the pie. Still bubbling through. Shouldn't take a great deal because remember we pack the pie out to the sides for the pastry. But when the meat cooks inside the pie, it does shrink away from the sides of the pastry. You can actually see from the pie itself, the pastry has come away from the side of the pastry, of the uh, pie dish. Just going to get a bit, kit of, uh, a bit of kitchen paper, just driven it over the top. So you don't want too much of that coming over the top of the pastry. really does need to fill up every little cavity inside the pie. And it's not bubbling as much, there's no way of coming out of it anymore. But it is still sinking down. Just a tiny bit more. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue filling, filling this and what will happen now is probably the most difficult part of the whole project is putting this into the fridge and leaving it overnight now for the gel to set and everything to go cool, absolutely cool and uh, the pile will be ready to eat tomorrow. So uh, we'll come back to this in the morning and uh, see how everything is set. Okay, so this has just come out of the fridge. It's been chilling overnight. Put our gel into it. So let's see how this comes out. There's a good thing about having these uh, push out bottom tins. Look at that. Oh, it's quite dead easy. Look at that. Slide that off. Look at that. You can see that the butter's really done its work on the paste around the sides. Lovely and brown. Let's get the bottom plate off, there we go, look at that, fantastic, get that out of the way. Okay, moment of truth. Listen to that, lovely, crisp, sounds a nice crisp, that's really encouraging. Oh, fantastic. There we go, look at that. See just where the gel's got the side, could have got a bit more in. 
but that looks absolutely lovely. There's only one thing to do with this now. What this really needs is the best ever accompaniment to pork pie. And here's a little bit. Pickle lily. Fantastic. Mmm, that is superb. That pastry is so nice and thick and crispy and crunchy. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Hmm. Speaking with my mouthful, but I think that's a, a roaring success. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully it won't be as long before we put our next <coughs> videos up. Uh, thanks again for watching Rusty's Rustic Pantry. See you soon.